What is up, YouTube? Perfect got 9000 here. Now, this is just a little set here. Let me just tilt it to the side. So, this is just a little side video I wanted to do. Um, explaining um, fresh tree resin. Now, if you look at this Coke kit, this Mountain Dew, sorry, I said Coke. Um, you'll see that this appears to be caked in earwax. But this is actually resin. Um, this is a highly flammable and it is 100% natural. So here I'm going to show you how to make your own little fire starter. And believe me, this stuff burns, this resin burns like a miracle from God. Now my neighbor has a pine tree and he recently cut off one of the uh, limbs of the tree. Now the tree will um, exhume these gobs of uh, fresh resin. I'm sorry, there was a wasp on me. And it will um, completely circle over the, the wound to protect bugs or fungi or really any damage to the tree now this will hard to um to a really hard sort of plasticky material ensuring a sort of permanent seal to protect the tree with now i just got over there with a little twig and i um took a thin layer not too much not too little so the tree will still be protected i left some so the tree will still be protected and if it needs to it will excrete more resin so it can still be protected now you're gonna need for this your resin some paper and a lighter to make this now here let me go down here and sort of prop my camera up now keep this away from ignition like this resin keep it away from ignition if you don't want it to catch on fire because it'll burn it'll burn so bad and so hot and so bright it really is just not worth it to risk your life so here, let's get it let's sort of angle here so you can see. Can right there should be good. So what you want to do, if you have your lighter, of course your paper, and your uh, and your fresh resin. So what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to dump, and this is extremely sticky. So I've collected it on this can instead of just holding it with my bare hand. So. I'm gonna use this twig to try to pry it off and onto the paper. Look at that, that's a gob of fresh pine resin. So you're gonna stick that right in the center. And I know this doesn't look like a lot, but trust me, it'll be a lot more in a survival situation if you ever need it. Now, I highly doubt that you'll be able to find paper in a survival situation, more or less make it. But really anything uh, flammable works. So you can, of course, leave the twig in here too. So now that you have your gob of resin in the center and your whatever, whatever um, propellant you need, you're gonna roll it up and around the resin. So you're trying to, so essentially you're just trying to make a little cocoon for it. So, so that resin is not going anywhere now. So here's what you're gonna do huh? and please do not perform this action without adult supervision this is extremely dangerous here why is there a piece of string in here so here i'm just gonna set it right underneath here just so you guys can see like a little example of it so what you're going to do now is you're going to light up one of the corners of the paper not not don't do it in the center you light off one of the corners so you have time to back away now here's what you're going to do just essentially you gotta just okay get your lighter ready god damn it okay, so get your lighter ready here It was lit for a second. So you're good, just gonna light. Yeah. So essentially what this will... Wait, I have permission for mom. So what this will do is, um, the cocoon of paper will catch on fire. And I'm a little close. But if this needs help, I'll, I'll light it up, of course. So it's going to hit that resin. 
And this is going to bust out into an inferno. So here, let's give it another little light here. Oh. Okay, so here, here I'm going to put the camera down real quick. Just so I can give it. So we just try to get the center burning so the resin will eventually catch. Now this stuff will easily catch fire, so I really don't suggest you do this unless you know what you're doing. So, and this is a cruddy example because this really is not working. So here, let's try it again. But well, believe me, once this starts to burn, it really starts to burn. Whoa, there you go. Kind of, kind of see it. Let me cast a shadow over it. Okay, it's not really catching on fire. This always works. And if you have your resin fresh, it works better, of course. But I'm really just trying to get the resin. And you'll know when it's lit on fire. You'll know it. So there you go. It'll start excreting this black smoke. And it'll start to get little nice and gummy. And yeah, there's your there's your little resin fire. I know it looks very unnatural, but once this gets burning, it's it can make so much of a difference. Here, let's put this little piece of wood on top, just to sort of complete the demonstration. Now, don't touch this. This stuff is extremely hot. I can't stress it enough. You don't touch this. So there you go. It'll it can get your little fire started, and it. Works extremely good. Now the smoke smells a little unnatural, but that's that's okay. It's it's perfectly fine. It smells like um like coal, burning coal almost. It's a fairly nice smell, but it's not my favorite either. It kind of smells like burning pine, essentially. Okay, this smoke is going literally everywhere that I'm going. And there you go. There's your little resin survival fire thing. I'm just gonna let this burn out and then we can go from there. And there you go. Once it really starts to get, you know it. All right, this has been Pipeface Guy 9000. I'll see you in my next video. Bye bye.